Hello everyone and welcome to the ETF.com Spotlight Series. My name is Igor Ekmaniki and I'll be your host today. Today I have with me Ron Bundy, the CEO of Russell Indices. Ron, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me, Hugo. It's great to be here at Inside ETFs. Thank you for joining us. So, Ron, I actually wanted to ask you, pertaining to a hot topic last year, and that's the smart beta space. Yeah. A ton of assets flowed into that space. Yeah. What is Russell doing looking at that space, and what sort of opportunities do you guys see there? Well, smart beta is all the buzz around the industry. You have investors of every class talking about those types of products. And it's a space that Russell is actually quite comfortable in because we've been working with smarter beta products for the last 30 years. And in fact, this year, 2014, marks the 30th anniversary of the Russell uh, indexes. And if you go back to 1984, uh, it was 1984 that Russell introduced the first small cap index. And a few years after that, the first value and growth indexes. And those are smarter beta products, what we would even consider smart beta 1.0, because for the first time, those products gave investors different ways to find different exposures or new exposures for U.S. equity investing. And that's really what Smart Beta is trying to do today. It's the same thing. It's giving investors different exposures to uh, different segments of the market that they didn't have access to, at least in an index, before. And so fast forward 30 years now to where we're at, and Russell's still doing a lot in the smarter beta space or the smart beta space. We're looking at uh, geographic exposure. Um, what that means is helping clients understand maybe what their um, emerging markets exposure is within their U.S. equity portfolio. We're doing a lot with fundamental uh, indexing and we're looking at different factors and how to index those and, and bring those exposures to clients. And when you talk about uh, smart beta, you really can't have the conversation without talking about innovation and being you know, tied Absolutely. to the index providers that, that bring that innovation to the market. And I think for index providers, it's really important that we don't allow, innovation's important, but it's really uh, important that we don't allow innovation to get too far ahead of education. And what you'll see Russell Absolutely. focusing a lot on in 2014 is educating advisors and educating investors, other investors, on how to use these products and how these products should behave in different market cycles and what these products should look like in your portfolio. So smart beta is, 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 is a great uh, space for us to be in, but helping investors really understand these products and how to use them is probably the most important part of that. Great. So. I want to switch gears a little bit, and I'm sorry if this comes off as a little bit of a hardball, but yeah. we've seen a lot of stories around the idea that indexes are now being commoditized. Right. How would you talk to an advisor, and what factors would you emphasize for them to really look at when looking at passive strategies and the indexes that yeah. those passive strategies yeah. cover? Yeah, that's a great question. And when people talk about the commoditization of an index, uh, what they're generally talking about is taking industry best practices and incorporating them into an index so that their index looks like the next one. Okay. Things like float adjustment and um, cap tiering and uh, things, uh, innovation, those, th those types of things like a float adjustment was a major innovation back in 1984 when Russell first launched the indexes, but those things have now become industry standard. And I think that's what people talk about when they talk about commoditization. But the important thing to realize is that not all indexes are created equally. Uh, the construction or how an index is constructed and the methodology that's used inside of it is really, really important to investors. So for example, if you've got a small cap index that has large cap companies in it or a large cap index that has small cap companies in it, you're not going to get the type of precise exposure that investors are looking at in their portfolio. And so uh, what I would um, uh, encourage advisors to do is really take the time to understand what's inside the index that they're using. And if you are with an index provider that's telling you that their index is a commodity, you should find a different index provider because you know, just like uh, not all indexes are created equal, uh, not all index providers are created equally either. It takes a lot of um, investment in under, uh, understanding of complex corporate actions and country classification to really construct a world-class global index, and that's what Russell does. So going into commoditization a little bit more, we've seen increased competition among the index providers, especially in 2013. What opportunities is Russell looking at looking forward into 2014, and what sort of areas of growth do you guys see for the firm? 
Well, I think 2014 is going to be an exciting year for the industry and an exciting year for Russell and our index business. Uh, Russell's index business is part of Russell Investments, which is a multi-asset solutions provider. We're able to bring, we're unique in our ability to bring insights from the investment division, from our pension consulting practice, from our uh, wealth management uh, practice all together um, and bring those insights into smarter beta or, or smarter indexes for our clients. And so in 2014, you're going to see us continue to move that smarter beta um, uh, concept forward. Uh, we're looking at new factor exposures to bring t okay. to clients, uh, looking at new uh, other new uh, indexes to bring out. But I think the most important thing is we're going to be providing uh, advisors and other investors a lot of education around how to use these products and make sure that we provide the right amount of information on what's in the index, how it should behave in different market cycles. And so part of the innovation not only is in creation of the index, but it's also in how to use that index to meet the specific outcomes of advisors and other investors. So it seems like there is a lot of collaboration between Russell Indexes and Russell Investments. You know, one of the great things about Russell is we have world-class capabilities in many areas. And so Russell Investments as a uh, leader in global in multi-asset investing also has deep insights in pension consulting and uh, deep roots in wealth management and the retail uh, environment. Our uh, implementation services team in 2013 transitioned over 1.4 trillion in assets and wow. that gives us insights into trading costs and turnover and that helps us create better indexes. And so when you look at all the capabilities of Russell, uh, we like to bring the best of Russell together in our indexes and bring those insights to advisors and those insights to, to investors. Great. So I'm going to throw a uh, curveball at you, but going back to smart beta, because we've mentioned that so many times and it yeah. is a space that Russell is familiar with. How do you guys look at smart beta and how do you define that space? Because a lot of people have claimed that their funds are in fact smart beta funds. Right. Well, I think you know smart beta is the term that the industry is kind of um, embrace to to um, describe a, a host of different products in the market. Um, you know, quite simply, we look at smart beta as rules-based strategies that are designed to get more granular exposure to a segment of the market and. Most of the time, that's in an index format, right? So we talked about um, uh, Smart Beta 1.0 being small cap and value and growth. And fast forward to today, and you're seeing really a whole host of non-cap weighted uh, indexes out there, like Fundamental, um, that uh, really start to play in that space between active and passive. And the interesting thing is, is if you look at uh, almost any investor's portfolio, it's not all active or all passive. It's a combination of those things. And so what Russell's doing is spending time with advisors and other investors and showing them how to use these products in a complex multi-asset portfolio to get the desired outcomes that they're looking for. And again, bringing the best of Russell together to do that is, 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 how, we'll, is how we'll move that forward. Great. So 30 year anniversary. Yeah. How are you guys going to celebrate it? Well, 2014 is going to be a big year for Russell and a big year for index business because we are celebrating uh, 30 years of the Russell indexes. When the indexes were created in 1984, they were really designed as tools to help our clients better understand their investment performance, so bringing better benchmarks to the market to help them in, um, uh, understand their investment performance and to bring capital markets insights to our clients in the form of an index. And now again, here 30 years later, there's a whole host of new uses and different uses for indexes that go far beyond just benchmarking. But benchmarking is still paramount. We have $4.1 trillion benchmarked to the Russell indexes. We have 1,500 uh, clients that use them every day and thousands of investors that invest with our uh, indexes to help them manage their portfolios. And so we're going to celebrate in 2014. Uh, we have a new small cap uh, publication that we're bringing out quarterly uh, in March. We're going to have a small cap symposium that we're going to bring the media and uh, clients too. We'll have more on that. Um, and we're really going to celebrate 30 years of Smarter Beta at Russell. And we'll do a, a little bit of looking back on the last 30 years, but really we're looking forward to the next 30 yeah. years. Ron, thanks for joining me on the show today. Thank you very much for having me, Hugo. It's my pleasure. There you have it, folks. Ron Bundy, CEO of Russell Indices. For more information, go to www.russell.com. That's all for today's show. Tune in next time to the next ETF.com Spotlight Series.